the transfer molding process is taking the material and transferring it from the pot into the cavity. Here's a perfect uh, example of that. What we do is, instead of laying the, uh, the material in the cavity, we have what we call a pot that sits above the top plate. So what we do is we put the material in the pot, press it down with the press. It melts and goes into the cavities, fills out the cavities and makes the part. Now, why would we do this instead of just making a compression part? Well, it's a little bit tighter tolerance. We do rubber to metal bonding. So we'll put the plate in the mold. You'll see here on the top of this part, you'll see two what we call gates and that's where the material is coming from the pot into the cavity to form the, uh, the part. Yeah, there's a metal plate, a steel plate, and it's bonded right to the rubber. We could also encapsulate a part. We have one part here that has rubber on, on four sides, but not on the bottom. And this is uh, another part, and we can see the gates here where we inject into the mold as well. That's how the material comes from the pot into the cavity. This is, this is an example of transfer molding. Here at Minor Rubber, we have three methods of molding rubber parts. Compression, transfer, and injection. We are very customer focused. If you can go down our street and probably get a great part from someone else, but it may be exactly what you asked for, not what you need. What it means is you've designed a part or picked a material that you think is ideal for your application. We look at it, and with our expertise of 106 years, we can come back to you and say, hey, I think you may want to look at this and why. Now, we never ever talk down to our customers. We engage them, we say to them, look, I respect what you've done, and I like your design, but here's something I think would be more appropriate for your application. I can tell you that our success on uh, new jobs, if not 99.9, .9, it's 100%. Once we commit to make something for you, very, very rarely will we ever have to do it a second time. We always say, let all your rubber problems be minor problems.